hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this one's quite a special video. This is the first video after I've reached my 10,000 subscribers. I want to thank everyone who's subscribed recently. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I've got a lot of videos coming out soon. I have a lot of ideas and I know this is a place you're going to want to be uh, for your landscape, portrait, all that kind of stuff. Photography. Anyway, this video is about the new update to... Uh, Photoshop 2021 which includes a very small but very important feature in the sky replacement module of uh, Photoshop and it's quite important I want to show you what what that involves uh, in this video very very quickly uh, it's gonna be a very short video so let's get over to Photoshop and have a look now we are in Photoshop and this picture isn't one of mine this picture is a picture I got off of Envato Elements just to show you uh, as an example for this uh, this little lesson. So we are going to go uh, to Edit and Sky Replacement. And the new feature might not seem like it's there. This is just uh, uh, a great little picture that works quite well, I think, with that image. But we are going to look at this little cog here. We've got Import Skies. Now this isn't different, we've got some images and we can imp import from sky presets. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to show you where you can get some more skies. So you can click get more skies online. This will take you to your Creative Cloud account and uh, allow you to download some more pictures. So let's have a look. Let's take me to the bottom of the page for some reason. So we've got some more sunsets there. Let's download those. They're downloading spectacular. Yeah, let's download those. Night skies, we might use one of those. Blue skies and storms. I think that's it. Yep, awesome. Okay, so we're going to go back into Photoshop, allow them to download, and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so when you've downloaded them, they're also going to download to your download folder or wherever you've chosen to download them on your. Uh, on your computer PC or Mac or whatever. You can come back up to here and go back to the cogs. Now import skies, import from presets. Now you'll see that the folder is actually empty because they're not in that folder yet. They need to be in that folder. So what you can do to make it easy, go back a folder. And I don't know how you're gonna do this on, on uh, PC, but on Mac you can right click and go show in Finder. Now what we can do is show our finder here, and I've got them uh, here downloaded in my download folder. I can drag them into the skies folder. They show up in here, and I can now select them. So hold down the first one, hold down on the last one with the shift key, and open. Uh, as zip files, don't need to unzip them. Uh, they should now be in here. Yeah, so now we've got blue skies night skies some nice ones in there oh that's fireworks in there as well is that fireworks let's have a look oh okay spectacular pack let's have a look in here now my computer is lagging slightly because it's doing a lot of stuff got some nice skies in here like that like that storms let's have a look in the storms hey there are some funky color storms look at that Oh, I actually like these skies. The storm pack is quite nice. Adobe done well. I like these blues here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And more sunsets. Let's have a look. Uh, so some of these are from the original pack too, I think, uh, that came with it. But I think they've just updated. Oh, I like that. I like that. Let's have a look at one or two of these skies here, and I want to show you what we're going to do with this. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I like that. So let's look at the options. Click out of there, and the options, I've got another video on this linked up there. And by the way, I've got my own sky pack. Uh, if you're interested in, in purchasing that, uh, it's very cheap at the moment. Uh, there's a massive offer, 86% off at the moment. It's over 400 skies, which you can download all into Photoshop or any other application that uses sky replacement. Uh, so let's have a look. I've got a little bit of tree coverage here that doesn't seem to have 
the sky behind it, this original sky. So let's see if we can shift the edge ever so slightly. That's a little bit better. Let's bring the, the fade back just a little bit. And now, I don't want to go too much because it's now encroaching on, on that there, but I don't want a halo around. I don't mind having a little bit of darkness, but that's fine. And okay, that, not bad. And that's a very quick and easy way of getting some nice free skies from Adobe. And uh, like I say, if you're willing to purchase uh, my sky replacement pack, there's a link in the description down below. Uh, have, a, have a look at that. There's over 400 skies and overlays. Uh, and a ton more other bits and pieces in that pack, uh, which will be a fantastic little purchase for you, should you wish to do more of this kind of stuff. Sky replacement in your landscape shots. Actually, I do sky replacement in a lot of shots, not just landscapes, do in portraits too, uh, which if you've been in my channel a while, you will know. Hope you like this uh, very quick, short video, but there's a neat little feature where you can get some new skies from Adobe uh, and download them now as a whole pack and a preset in uh, in, in its in its zip format uh, straight into Photoshop, not worrying about downloading them one at a time, which is a time saver. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I've got lots of these videos coming out, uh, tutorial wise and other bits and pieces coming out really really soon. Uh, thank you to all those that have subscribed recently. I'm now over to my 10k. I'm on my way to the 100k. I want that that button. Uh, so please like and share my channel. That would be fantastic. Uh, anything helps. Comment down below. Let me know uh, what you'd like, like to see in future videos. It all helps. Anyway, have a great weekend. And I'll see some of you boys and girls really soon. Take care. Bye. Hi, I'm Andy and I'm here to tell you about my new online landscape photography academy. It's not your traditional online photography course, it's also a mentorship program. Many of you most likely know me from my YouTube channel. And if you enjoy my process of getting an awesome image from the landscape around me, you can learn to do that too. So, how does it work? After signing up for the Landscape Academy, you will immediately receive access to all lectures taking you through every aspect of landscape photography. From beginner courses, through to intermediate, and on to the more advanced photographic techniques. At the end of each lecture, you'll be provided an assessment to progress you through the steps of creating an appealing image from beginning to end. After submitting each assignment, you will receive a handcrafted personal feedback video on your progress, giving you actionable steps to take your work to the next level. These mentorship sessions continue as you build your skill set from beginner to advanced landscape photography. By the time you finish the course, you will have hours of personal video feedback crafted especially for you. Additionally, the entire Landscape Academy is self-paced and you have a lifetime access to all of the content. So there's no need to worry about deadlines or losing access to the content after an arbitrary amount of time. You may want to skip the beginner one course if you have a basic understanding of photography and a good grasp of camera settings. But if you're an absolute beginner, fear not, this course is designed to get you started from scratch. If you want to sign up and get more information, just click the link below or check out the Academy link on my website.